everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be bringing you a very valentine's day themed bag it's an exclusive with mz wallace and it's in the print heart leopard print it is the small metro convertible backpack from mz wallace so as you can see it's a top handle backpack no option for crossbody which is a bummer for me because I love having the option of crossbody and I also love having the option of wearing it as a backpack but I could not pass up this print it's absolutely adorable and I think it's perfect for whenever you want to pull it out it does have little hearts featured here and throughout the print but in general it's a leopard print it has a lot of their vachetta leather throughout so I like to protect mine with apple guard now you don't have to do that though because vachetta le leather is very forgiving and it patinas very well and that means it gets into a darker color so actually if you could see here it's on the ends of their drawstring as well and it's all throughout they also have the standard on the bottom the little feet and then the mz wallace emblem there now the cool thing about this bag is that it can zip which i'll show you more inside later and then it also has the drawstring on it so let's get into some of the outside features so on the two sides there are little side pockets that are great for just slipping your phone in really quickly if you need to have it in a snap or masks this would be a great thing to put your masks in on the side um, it can also hold maybe a little card wallet or your keys if you need to get them really quickly. The great thing about this bag is that it has not one, but two zippers on the outside. So here's the front pouch. I actually had it open already and I just have my daughter's mask in there. I like to have our masks in there and tucked away just in case we need them. Then on the back here, there is another zipper compartment. They seem to be about the same size. This would be good if you want to stick a phone in the back. Um, my phone definitely fits back there or something else that you don't need a lot of access to or you want to be super protected. Now, we talked about the top handles. I absolutely love carrying it like this. They're great. I can slip them over to my wrist while I'm trying to hold my daughter's hand or do something else like that. They feel good. They feel really well sewn on and I do think that this part of the bag will patina very quickly. Now I'm going to lower the camera so we can get a better look at the inside of the bag and the features. That's the drawstring and the zipper. This is the view from the top. I wanted to note before we start that the zipper, the tail tucks in and so does that side. So that means that this bag is not entirely secure. I can get my hands inside the bag and can pull out things if I really wanted to. But if you have it cinched, it offers an extra level of protection. So there's that. I just wanted to show that to you. So you can do both. I don't think it changes the look of the bag too much to have it cinched with it zipped. It does change when it's cinched and just zipped though. It's more in this trapezoid shape, which I absolutely love and I think is adorable. But let's look at the inside. So you will see the drawstring is weaved in and out. It's not super noticeable. I like haven't even noticed these little rings before just now. And so inside you will find my belongings and I found my keys and have put them in here so I don't mess around with my keys I have big chunky keychain I have this Aaron Co mini wallet and then I have my clay from Louis Vuitton that carries my other stuff so big keys in this bag they fit Keep my little store items in this bag. This is what I call my moisturizing bag. I have so much in here. It fits a ton. This is from Target, the dollar spot, or Bullseye's Playground, as you can see compared to my hand. It's huge. 
So this is a workhorse. I have my Portland Leather Goods journal. This is the large. And then inside I have my large Portland Leather Goods makeup bag for my diapering needs. Usually I have a diaper or two in here, size five, so it's not a small diaper. A snack for my daughter, a large pack of wipes, the full size, and some hand wipes as well. So this bag holds quite a bit and it's not pretty in <laughs> any sense of the word to see how much it fits, but it does. So let's take a look at the inside. MZ Wallace has the same inside on all of their bags from what I could tell. Now, if we look here, we're gonna see that they always offer a zippered pouch. And then in the zippered pouch, they like to include two slip pockets, um, which is nice because if you don't want, if you have too much in here, it's hard to find that stuff. So smaller items can go in there. Then I'm gonna flip it around this way so you can see the slip pockets over here. This one I've always thought is for your phone because it's cinched on the side, easier to get in and out, and they have a second slip pocket. Now all of the bags come with this keychain or key clip, and then this goes with the matching pouch, which I will show you after this. So that's the inside. It fits a lot for such a tiny bag, and that's not even including me packing this full. I don't actually have a whole lot in here, and I still have a ton of room, plus all these little pouches and my inside and outside pouches. So let's repack this so you can see how it all fits in. And not only can it fit in here, but it's actually really easy to get this stuff in and out. It's not like I'm trying very hard to get this stuff in and out. So this actually might be a good one to do my key clip on. I don't use it very often, but when I do, I want to pull it out. I'm going to tuck my keys in here. And voila. One thing I forgot to mention is that MC Wall sends a pouch which, with each one of their bags, and they're nice and big. I believe they are meant to fit the bag in them for storage. Um, they're Metro totes actually come with multiple bags the bigger they get. So my bag should be able to scrunch up and fit in this, I'm pretty sure. If not, this little attachment here, you can use the key clip on the inside of your bag and keep your things in there. But these are nice and big and they're great bags for storing your little needs inside of them. darling. I love the print most of all and I love how much that it can actually hold especially as a mom. I was pleasantly surprised. I was worried when I looked at the pictures that it might be too small for me. I love the durability of these bags. They are so well made and so well worth the investment. So if you're looking for an MC Wallace bag, I highly recommend you check out their website because they have something for everyone. And I know the style is not for everybody, but I truly have come to love these bags. Now, the downside to this bag is the straps. The backpack straps are not friendly for a plus size person like myself. I am a size 18, 20, and this bag is on about as far as it could go. I don't like how the straps hit me in the back and I think that's because they probably need to be a little bit longer and for it to sit lower on my back. So that's my one gripe about this backpack. I do not like the straps on it for me. I am bummed that it doesn't have a crossbody option. I always love when there's that convertible option. And I know it's convertible because it has the top handles, but for me, I like to have that third option of turning it into a crossbody. 
I would absolutely love to check out the bigger version of this bag because I think it can offer me a lot more in terms of how much I can carry. This bag is perfect if we are just running somewhere quick, running into Target or I'm taking my daughter to physical therapy and I know I just need a diaper and a snack. If I needed a change of clothes, I could probably fit it in this bag. I'm not gonna lie, I think it would fit. And I could also probably fit her water bottle, but I can't carry much else for me if I'm carrying those things for my daughter. MZ Wallace has a larger size of this convertible backpack. I would like to be able to fit a water bottle for me, a book for me, a change of clothes for my daughter, maybe a toy or two, and then all the other essentials that I can fit in there. But for right now in winter, when we're staying indoors, this bag is the perfect size. It's adorable and it's cute. So if you have any questions below, let me know. I'd love to answer them. They're such good bags and this bag is too cute and would be perfect for a fun little date night on Valentine's Day. If you've made it this far, thank you for staying with me. I love to review bags and I also love to share other things like my experiences with a float tank or I like to share the different hauls I get when I do go shopping and get makeup, which isn't often anymore with COVID. So thanks again for being here. If you're new or old, I'd love for you to stick around, press that subscribe button and like this video to see more of this kind of content. Happy Valentine's Day.